Let's take a look at multiplication tables. Now it really, really helps to memorize your multiplication tables. I can't stress this enough. There are many students that go through school never memorize them. Again, my calculator is there for me. If you memorize these, it will make a lot of the work you do, especially in the algebra that we're going to get into this year, it will make it so much more easier. You won't, be, you won't struggle and you'll find it very easy uh, to pick up and learn if you know your multiplication tables. If you don't, you're going to find it very difficult and it's going to be a really tough class to pass. Now, it really helps, it makes you faster, it makes it easier, which means you got to practice it. If you're not good at your multiplication tables, then you need to practice. You need to be able to work with these numbers really, really quickly um, to do some multiplication. And it also works, they're called multiplication tables, but it actually works for division as well. And we do we work with a lot of numbers from 1 to 12. And so knowing your tables from 1 to 12 is going to make it really easy for you. Now to practice, you can get, there's worksheets you can print off, you can draw out a multiplication table, and we're going to actually go over one right here uh, in a moment. And if you're really embarrassed, there's an app to help you out. Times Table Game is just one app I found. It's on both uh, for on the App Store and, uh, with Apple, and it's also in the Google Play Store. This works on your phones or on your tablets. You can play the game on the bus, and people just think you're playing a game and won't realize that you're actually practicing your times tables. So it adds a little bit of fun to it, and you actually learn your time saves again, which will make things so much easier for you this year. Now, if we actually take a look at a times table, um, I have one set up here. I disregarded having an extra row for multiplying by one. Anything multiplied by one is just itself. So that's the first column. There's the ones column. So anything on the table here just matches up. Um, uh, take an example here of say 5 times 8 right here, fill that in, that's 40. So 5 times 8 is 40. That also means that 40 divided by 5 is 8 and 40 divided by 8 is 5. And it's going to again be really useful when we get into some of the algebra as we move through this course. So being able to work through this table and just memorize those so you know when you see 40 you think of 8 and 5, when you see 5 and 8 you think of 40. Being able to work like that will really help you out. Now, good way if you're really bad at this, a good way to start practicing is just go row by row and they count nice and easy. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. Notice it's going up by 2 each time, and it'll continue going up by 2. Each row will go up by whatever the first number is. This will go up by 3s, by 4s, by 5s, by 6s, by 7s, by 8s, by 9s. And it'll also work this way. So notice if I start going down here, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. And if I continue building a little bit here, I'll we'll have 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14, and when we start with a 3, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 times 7 is 21. And if we continue on uh, going down this way, 3 times 4, notice there's the 12, 3 times 5 again, Oops, sorry, that should be a 15, 3 times a, uh, 3 times 6 and 3 times 7 and so we can fill it in multiple ways so if you're well, I'm not sure what 7 times 3 is well if you've already got 3 times 7 they're the same number you'll find this table actually mirrors itself along a diagonal line right here this is the only line um, that doesn't mirror and notice these are all perfect squares those are numbers multiplied by themselves so that's like 3 squared which is 9. So 3 times 3 is 9. All this diagonal here is all the perfect squares. Numbers again that are really useful. We use a lot of perfect squares in this course. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 and 7 is 49. 8 squared is 64. 9 squared is 81. 10 squared is 100. 11 squared is 121 and 12 squared is 144. And then 
everything on the opposite sides of this line is mirrored. So that 40 matches up right here. It's mirrored around that line. Everything mirrors around this diagonal line here. And we can continue filling in the rest of the table here. So we have two times eight is 16, times nine is 18, times 10 is 20, 22 and 24. And that'll fill in the same way down here, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. And recognizing some of these different patterns helps again make math easier for you. If you can start picking up the different patterns and tables like this, you'll start associating those numbers with different movements in the table, making it um, more useful to you. And if we continue on here with the threes, we have 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. Now, you can quickly fill in a table like this, especially when you're getting started. You can do these rows and you can mirror, then start mirroring them, which makes, again, a lot easier for you. So we have the 24, 27, 30, 33, and 36. But once you start becoming proficient and it's make it's getting really easy to fill this in this way then you start just randomly picking different spots on the table to fill in um, you know do 8 times 10 is 80 and 6 times 9 is 54 and you can bounce around the table like that and practice uh, randomly filling your uh, table in to do all the calculations so I'll just fill the rest of this in for you um, and I'll probably fast forward through this part so that it'll make it look a lot faster and you'll be uh, able to see a completed table. So there's a completed table. Again, really good to practice. Make sure you get familiar with it. Be familiar with your perfect squares. So when you see these numbers, recognize that they are perfect squares. So if you see 1, 4, 6, uh, 19, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, and 144, you should recognize right away that they are perfect squares, meaning they are just a number times itself, and you should realize what numbers those are. Again, practice this. Use that app. It'll be really useful to be very good at your multiplication tables.